Sicilian defense, can, knight variation, 5, qc7 6.g3. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. The dark squared bishop has a fresh opening created by e6, and the queen has a new diagonal created by e6. d4 offers to trade the more important central d4 pawn for the c5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cxd4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. Nxd4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. A6 prepares for a b5 pawn push to gain space on the queen side and stops the white pieces from using the b5 square. Nc3 develops the knight, supports the e4 pawn, and controls the d5 square. Qc7 controls the important d6 and e5 squares and keeps white guessing where the black pieces will develop. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. This pins a knight to the king. The knight is now adequately defended. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. This offers an equal trade of pieces. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is the final book action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This strikes the rival queen. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That falls flat. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. Although black is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. The pawn is now suitably protected. That's good. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This wins a tempo on a queen while while developing a piece. It is ideal. This overlooks a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. 
This enables the adversary to kick the bishop. It is incorrect. This deters an assault on a queen who is weak. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a rook that might have been taken. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. There is an easier way to transport a queen to safety than this. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This would be a missed chance to maneuver a queen to safety. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. That's good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the bishop off the board. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 